What's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants. Doing a reaction video to this Xavier McKinney news since we're not going to have a podcast out until Friday. It'll be a preview pod, so we don't want to touch on it too much. But if, if you are not living under a rock, Xavier McKinney is going to be out a few weeks, according to him. He had a, uh, an ATV accident in Cabo, according to him. like He actually posted this. I'll pull it up for myself to read. He posted, During our bye week, I went away to Cabo. While there, I joined a group for a guided sightseeing tour on ATVs. Unfortunately, I had an accident and injured my hand. The injury will keep me sidelined for a few weeks. I will do everything I can to get back as quickly as possible so I can contribute to what we're building here in New York. X. So, he gets injured on an ATV. That's a headline. That's kind of a big deal. Ian Rappaport says that it is a broken hand. That's usually three to six weeks, but you know, I, I'm not a doctor. That puts the Giants in a tough spot because Xavier McKinney's their play caller, and he's really the only established deep safety on the on the roster. I know we haven't seen like the interceptions like we did we saw in Patrick Graham's defense, but he's been huge for the defense. They've you know they've uh, they've like offenses have avoided him playing that deep center field safety role, and then we've seen him down in the box a little bit when we played a team like Christian McCaffrey. We saw a little bit versus Seahawks when we were trying to stack it versus them, but ultimately he's their deep safety. And the Giants just don't have that. And those are, those you know, a deep safety who, you know, you're not going to get a ton of interceptions all the times, but it's one of those you don't know what you got till it's gone. So the, McKinney put them in a, in, a, in a tough spot. And I do think, like, McKinney deserves blame for this. Like, this isn't just total freak accident. Like, a couple things. Go look at Jihad Ward's Instagram. Two days ago, posted him doing a wheelie on a four-wheeler on Instagram. We can connect the dots there a little bit. Um, and his contract language. Like, uh, you know, in the contract language for the Giants, for any Giants player, like guaranteed salary in a Giants player's contract shall immediately become null and void in this entirely if a player is unavailable to a club as a result of engaging in any activity which may involve a significant risk of personal injury, including, and it talks to, says a bunch of things, and one of them is all terrain or similar vehicles as driver or passenger, so which is an ATV. So, now, are the Giants going to void his contract and cut him? Absolutely not. But it is in his contract to not do that and not get injured uh, on it. Um, and also, I know this is this is speculative, so take it as that. But if you've ever been on an ATV and, or like myself, have done something dumb and had an ATV accident, it's not, you're not going to really. It's not really going to happen on some sightseeing tour. In Cabo. Like, that would be hard to do. Like, you kind of got to be doing some dumb stuff. Not, like, insanely stupid stuff. Like, how could, how could some one person ever think of doing this? But, screwing around doing some dumb stuff. Um, so, is Xavier McKinney, is this, like, uh, some huge offense? Should he get his captainship taken away? No. But it is dumb on his part for him to do this. Yeah, like this and this puts the Giants in a situation to do it. On, like, I know the bye week, you go and take vacations. No problem with them doing that. But to get on an ATV, test the limits of that ATV, which it seems like happened. Again, you don't you don't go 10 miles per hour putt-putting around looking at sightseeing, and then all of a sudden you, you break your hand uh, falling off or hitting something else. Obviously, it could have been that, but um, I think it'd be pretty naive to just assume that nothing, you know, they were just playing it totally safe. As far as this with the, so I, I think McKinney deserves blame for this. Still want him to be a captain, play caller, important safety for the team. But they are going to miss him down the stretch. Also, it just puts the Giants in a bad situation with their safety position. Like, Julian Love's not going to thrive as a center field safety if that's where the role they went, which I don't think they will. That's just not where he's going to be his best. He's best down in the box towards the line of scrimmage. That's where we've seen Julian Love play his best. We've seen him play a little nickel corner. But again, that's a lot different. He played nickel corner in like a zone coverage scheme. That's a lot different than playing deep safety uh, and Wink Martindale's cover three, cover one safeties. Dane Belton, who I think will take that role, he, in college at Iowa, played all over. Like He played a little bit of deep, but mostly down in the box or as nickel corner. With him, they've used him in man coverage on tight ends down in the box in those three safety sets. And again, that's where, in college, he played like nickel corner versus slot wide receivers. In the NFL, he's covering tight ends. I do think that's where he'll go because they did let Dane Belton play a little bit of three safety. Like when it, when McKinney played in the box versus the Panthers and the Giants ran three safety sets like seventy percent of the time, Belton played as the deep safety. So he has the most like the, the we he's the only guy we've seen the Giants do that um, with. Now a name that we've kind of forgotten, but we claimed on waivers, and I thought he was the best player that the Giants claimed on waivers was Jason Pinnock, the safety from the Jets. 
he did that for the Jets and played that deep safety role. Like He could be an option. And if they want to run some three safety formations, I think that's the only way you can get to it is by playing Jason Pinnock as that deep safety. He has the athleticism and the speed for it. He's not perfect at it. Obviously, he hasn't gotten a role with the Giants yet playing defense. But he could be that option if you want to go to three safety formations. And then you could leave Dane Belton in there for the two safety ones playing deep. Um, but like the idea that... like. Like you put Landon and Tony Jefferson on as like the, they're they're fine as those four safeties and those dime linebackers playing kind of that spiral. You put them as the third safety and putting on man coverage on tight ends. Both those guys are going to fail in that role. You know, Landon at his best and do great at that role. He's definitely not going to do that now. And he's he's just flat out pla- practicing with the linebackers. Uh, and he's on the practice squad. He's not a part of the fifty three man roster as of now. Tony Jefferson's on IR, so he can't come in there right now. So you only have three healthy safeties on the roster right now with Love, Belton, and Pinnock. So, uh, and again, McKinney has made plays well, but they've been off the TV screen because he plays that deep safety role, and a lot of times he's just being avoided by the offense, which has happened. You know, he's made his he's made his uh, share of mistakes this year. I think they've been a little you know, a little hidden compared to last year, where you make those mistakes at deep safety, you're giving up those 50 yard touchdowns to KJ Hamlin or whoever. This year they're not as glaring, but he has made them. But he's been good. He's been good for the Giants. You know, hasn't been the great statistical year, but he's been good for the Giants. So this puts them at a uh, a pretty sizable disadvantage. You know, something we talked about in the offseason where, you know, going into the draft, your only safeties were Xavier McKinney and Julian Love. Now you draft Dane Belton, pick off, uh, pick up Pinnock off waivers, and then you got Je- Jefferson and Collins. Uh, but one's injured, one's on IR, one's on the practice squad. So bad situation for the Giants. Sucks that Xavier McKinney got into this issue. Um, hopefully it was just totally innocent, total freak accident. It's hard to imagine that. But again, the contract language, it's, it's uh, not a great situation to put yourself in. But people must make mistakes. Don't bury them for it. But uh, bad situation for the Giants coming out of the bye week. We lost the bye week. We thought we won the bye week. We lost the bye week. So like and subscribe to the channel. Um, All that good stuff. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one. Let's go big blue.